Hey, what's up, guys? LQ with the LQ Review, and I'm here with my review for last night's episode of Survivor Edge of Extinction. So this will be episode 11 of uh, Survivor Edge of Extinction. And, you know, what's really nice is that we finally got an episode that had a great story to it. I think that's what it comes down to. This was an episode that had a great story. My dog's being stupid. I don't know. He's sniffing the couch. Sorry. So yeah, this episode had a great story. So this episode opened with uh, Devin um, feeling like he's on the outs and feeling like he's got to make a move. He's got to make a move to improve his position in the game. And he searches for that hidden immunity idol. And he searches and searches and finally finds it. Now, it also opens with Ron giving Devin's um, his old clue that's no good anymore. It's expired. But Ron gives Devin's this clue to make him feel safe. To try to make him feel like Ron is on his side. <clears throat> so that's how this episode opens. With this clue coming into play. With Ron attempting to fool Devins by giving him this clue. And you, you know, the episode plays out with Devins being the person on the out. He's going to be the one voted out. And then he's got his episode arc. Where, um, you know, he does not win the, uh, the family challenge. And he's not one of them chosen to participate in the family challenge. In fact, Ron wins the family challenge. And Ron doesn't choose Devin's. Um, which to me, if I was in Devin's position, I'd have been like, that's telling. You know, he gave me this idol. He wanted me to trust him. Why didn't he pick me for this? So, obviously, Devin's is going to be thinking through that. And then finally... Um, you know, Devins doesn't win immunity, and it's clear that he, he's on the shot chopping block. He has an immunity idol. He also has the um, the f fake one that Ron gave him. So what does Devins do? He completes his episode-long story arc by playing the fake one. And then once he learns it's fake, because I'm sure he suspected that it was, but once he learns that it's fake, he calls um, Ron out on it in front of everybody. So now to the jury, Devins looks like a power player. And he's also hurt the game of a couple different people. So that was brilliant. And then knowing that he was still on the outs and knowing that the uh, one that Ron gave him was, was, was expired, he went ahead and played the good one and got saved and got rid of Ron. So, this was the best episode of the season. This episode had an arc for a character, and it was an entertaining one. This season has been up and down. We've had great episodes. We've had episodes that weren't so great. In fact, we've had a couple really boring episodes. But this episode told a story. So, this episode was by far the best. There's two episodes left this season. Next week, and then the week after is the finale. Um, my assumption is Edge of Extinction is going to come into play again during the finale. Um, but I'm really hoping that they stick the landing with the season. Because this hasn't been a bad season. There's no way this season is going to rank among the top, um, the best seasons ever. But it hasn't been a bad season. So I'm really hoping they can stick the landing and we can have a, uh, a great end to this season to elevate it. Because right now it's a middle of the road season for me but a great ending will elevate it. Um, let's talk a little bit about the episode itself. The family uh, the, the family reward, something they do every year, and I hope they keep the family reward because the family reward is always very nice. Um, very emotional, helps you get to know these characters a little better. You know, you, you never really know somebody until you meet their family, right? So it's always really nice to have that episode. They try to play up the drama and the melodrama and try to, you know, uh, um, go for emotions. A lot of it, in some cases, is, ch is cheap emotions, but they really go for it. But what I like about it is just what you can learn about the uh, the characters 
from their interactions with their families. That's always really entertaining to me. But the challenge this time was really nice. It was a challenge from Heroes vs. Villains, and uh, I love callback challenges, challenges that are the same ones that they've done before, and then revisiting those. So that was great. Um, this episode did feel a little rushed in spots, like uh, um, there wasn't the... Um, bring it in guys uh, scene before the immunity challenge or before the uh, reward challenge it was just uh, cutting straight to for the next immunity challenge so there wasn't any build up and that, that happened a couple times this episode where I felt that they cut off the introductions to scenes or the setup to scenes to get straight into the meat um, and that's probably because they just tried to pack a whole lot into the scene or into the episode and that's okay but it felt a little disjointed to me and a little rushed at spots. Um, nothing from Edge of Extinction today. Yeah, we saw the jury, but we really didn't get anything from Edge of Extinction, which that felt a little odd to me as well, um, because we have been spending a lot of time with those characters. But overall, like I said, this is the best episode we've had this season. This episode told a story, and this was Devin's story. And while he's not my favorite player this season, he definitely uh, gained, some, gained some stock in my book, because he had a great arc, and he's really playing the game hard. And I keep on saying, right, I like it when players play. And Devin's is playing. Um, now that Mad Dog is out and Ron is out, you know, Lauren is probably my favorite player. Um, but Devin's is probably the one who is playing it most strategically. So we'll just wait and see how it plays out. Uh, I don't really have a horse in this race anymore. So I just want to sit back and watch how it plays out and uh, hope that it has a satisfying ending. So, did you watch this episode of Survivor? If so, let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. I am LQ. This is the LQ Review. Thank you for being here where we talk about all the geeky, nerdy stuff that we love to talk about, including Survivor. And until next time, we'll catch you later.